Imagine descending into a wild blue oasis, flushed with pastel pigments, submerged in a perfectly harmonised symphony of sound. You quickly realise that every part of it is alive. Every part plays an essential role in building and sustaining its world. A world of wonderment, grandeur and infinite mystery where vast white sands and dense rainforests meet a borderless blue oceanscape. The most complex and diverse ecosystem on Earth begins. Australia's Great Barrier Reef. This captivating aquatic landscape hums with the sound of thousands of species that live within its vibrant shallows and canyons of sub-Antarctic water. Each of these life forms play a crucial part in maintaining the delicate balance of their ecosystems. And the effect of their activity can be felt throughout all ocean habitats. Coral reefs may only occupy 1% of the world's marine environment, but an immeasurable number of the world's marine species rely on them. And science has only begun to understand the sophisticated biological processes that allow them to thrive. At first glance, coral appears to be colourful rocks or plants. In fact, they are colonies of tiny animals that build their skeletons using proteins or minerals extracted from the seawater. These elaborate geological structures, which develop into a remarkable array of shapes, colours and textures, are fundamental to the entire ecosystem of the reef. Soaring sculptural vases, gently oscillating sea fans, snowy white cherry blossoms, fiery red and orange bonsai. These are just some of the many intricate and artistic forms coral likes to embody. But the ability of coral to thrive ultimately hinges on its intimate relationship with a microscopic single-celled algae called zooxanthellae, which live within the coral tissues and impart its colour. These ancient bedfellows have evolved together as partners in survival, each providing the other with their essential needs. This is the wonder of coral. Its existence is defined by harmonious exchange, environment and body, ecosystem and organism. The very life of the whole is dependent on the interrelationship of its parts. Much like the soil on land, a reef that has lost even a fraction of its biodiversity shows signs of disorder and decay. A healthy reef is like a teeming rainforest, noisy, dynamic, bristling with life each species of plant and animal working in synergy for the benefit of the entire community. An ailing reef is silent and still, like an empty, breathless graveyard. Rising ocean temperatures, fueled by our warming climate, mean we are witnessing the increased frequency of marine heat waves. When the ocean rapidly warms, a strange thing happens to the coral animal and its algae partner. They forget that they need each other. Like trees, the cores of coral penetrate time. They are silent sentinels, year after year, recording the changes to their environment without bias. And what they have shown reveals the story of humanity's past and imminent future. Exposing deep-seated climate details, their growth bands tell us that today's bleaching events are unprecedented. Coral is remarkably resilient. When left to its own devices, it is self-regenerating and self-regulating. Like all natural ecosystems, a reef will restore balance without interference if there are no external threats to its environment. But today, the threats are occurring too quickly for the coral to adapt. Climate change, overfishing and chemical pollution are sending our coral into decline. 
The next 10 years will prove crucial for the survival of our iconic reef. Now is the time to take meaningful action as individuals and as a collective to restore balance to our environment. It's time to be humbly guided by the intelligence of the natural world and to learn from it rather than try to solve, direct and dominate it. This means lightening our footprint on the planet in whatever ways we can, reducing our impact through small upstream actions that lead to big downstream change. Coral reefs are essential to life in our oceans and oceans are essential to life on the planet. As the hum of life begins to dim in our Great Barrier Reef, it's imperative that we give it a voice. Not only for the thousands of species who live there, but for all of life itself.